Looking for a summer drive that's cool in every respect? Then hitch a ride with our contributor, Connor Knighton, whose summer vacation has taken him full circle. This summer marks the 40th anniversary of the completion of Iceland's Route 1, better known as the Ring Road. The 828-mile loop encircles the entire country, meaning you could technically drive around Iceland in a day. And in the summer, you'd still have plenty of daylight left over. The sun doesn't set until close to midnight, and this is about as dark as Iceland gets. But you'd really need a week to take it all in. The Ring Road is one of the most scenic drives in the world. Just off the highway, there are roaring waterfalls, mossy lava fields, sunny seaside cliffs, eerie glacial lagoons, bubbling, steaming earth. Iceland feels like another planet. In the 1960s, Apollo astronauts trained for lunar missions on Iceland's rocky landscape. The country has since become a favorite of sci-fi and fantasy filmmakers. That drone is out there somewhere. The recent Oblivion and Prometheus were shot in Iceland. And the country is featured prominently in Game of Thrones. Oh, it seems you owe me a debt. Give it back! <laughs> The Ring Road, just a little stretch of two-lane blacktop, connects most of Iceland's major attractions and towns. Like, uh, and, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try and say them. Trust me, it is worth seeing them. You might just have the views to yourself. Iceland only has a little over 300,000 people, and over 60% live in the greater Reykjavik area. So once you get out of the capital, the only traffic jam you're likely to encounter is some serious sheep gridlock. Driving the ring counterclockwise, I lost track of time altogether. Every side road begged to be explored. There were waterfalls to walk behind, icebergs to dodge, hidden hot springs to uncover. For the past 10 days, I've just been driving around in a circle. And in Iceland, that's the point.